Laudetur Jezus Chrystus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Zaścianek, Polish Manor House. I'd like to refer to my notes as I try to convey solemn editorial so I do not miss anything. The original version of the Polish national anthem states that Poland has not died yet when we live. What foreign power extorted from us, we will reclaim with the sword. Doesn't this earlier version of the lyric of the Polish national anthem that I quoted represent a more dramatic and truthfully accurate depiction of what happened to us? This is yet another example of how words have been mysteriously replaced. It is time for we, the Polish people, to start writing our own history and not allow the occupiers of war to spread their propaganda in place of our history. We need to correct misinterpretations and misleading descriptions of our historical events. For example, instead of describing the invasions of Poland as partitions, be more factual with treaties of extermination of Poland or treaties of Holocaust of Poland, followed by a triple occupation. Our hardworking historians and history enthusiasts constantly enrich our knowledge about our past. As readers, we owe it to them and each other to be just as hardworking by publicizing this information. In particular, we should recognize our appreciation for all generations of previous historians and history enthusiasts who risked their lives during the partisan conditions of their time in order to share their knowledge about our homeland. This partisan teaching of Polish culture and history has continued for over 300 years, from the moment being Polish became illegal and through the time when being Polish was a crime. The monthly Zaścianek magazine is an anthology of timeless and true quotes from manuscripts and other works lost in eradication and extermination of Poland, describing church and national holidays, the most important anniversaries, saints and heroes for a given month. Ready and timeless materials for teaching Polish literature and history will make it easier for many future generations of parents and teachers of Polish culture to do their job. It is no wonder that many museums in the world exhibit goods stolen from Polish homes and Zaścianek Manor homes. It is necessary for us to defend against the public false flag propaganda by understanding and publishing the truth to share the facts of our cultural empire as the brightest republic, or in Latin, Respublica Serenissima, meaning the most serene republic. The home of all Polish, of all nationalities and religions. This was truly an insightful culture created by our ancestors. Despite the 300 years of the planned extermination of anything resembling Polish, our culture still endures and produces wonderful fruits and ennobles our nations too. Just as we have recovered the memory of forsaken soldiers through the joint efforts of Polish people, it is time we also reverse the slandering of Zaścianek, the nest for Polish knights, culture and patriotism. Zaścianek is a place just behind the city defensive wall inhabited by knights and their adjutants. The first defenders of the castle, front guard, the avant-garde. Our newspaper, Zaścianek, is rich in content, but modest in form, to optimize the distribution in order to reach the largest group of compatriots. 
we invite you to participate in the recovery of our Polish identity. Please send us all kinds of utterances and family reminiscences and especially stories never told or published before that have been left unsaid by other sources. Thank you for all your support and we thank you for your interest in our culture. God bless you.